Namaste. In the previous video, we had discussed about how to calculate inductance of a single isolated current carrying conductor due to its flux linkages. Now we will extend it to two conductor case. Okay, let us uh, bring the conductor which is uh, far away from the pre uh, previous uh, conductor to the near the conductor. So let us try to calculate the inductance of a single phase two wire line. Okay, so now when you bring the second conductor near to the first conductor, it will form the single phase circuit of our power uh, system uh, power power systems. Okay, so this is the you can say this is a conductor one whose uh, radius is R one and carrying uh, current I one. Okay, now we have the second conductor with the radius R two and carrying current I two. Okay, let us try to calculate the inductance of because of this uh, two wire line that is uh, produced because of the currents I one and I two. Okay, for the time being, uh, we'll consider the flux linkages produced by the conductor one only because of the current I one passing through the conductor. Okay. And then we will uh, separately consider the flux linkages because of current I2 on both the conductors. Okay? So, when you consider the flux linkages because of the current I1 flowing through the first conductor, you need to discuss about uh, these uh, different distances. Okay? So, uh, the distance from the origin of this conductor 1 to the uh, outside of this conductor 2, in between conductors 1 and 2, will be D minus R2. And the distance between uh, the uh, centers of these two conductors is D. Okay, so between uh, the centers it is D. And now, if you measure the distance from the center of your conductor one to the out other side of the surface of conductor two, it is D plus R two. Accordingly, the flux linkages will also change. That's the reason why we are discussing about these distances. Okay, so now when you consider the current flowing through the conductor one which is i1 and the flux linkages because of uh, this uh, current uh, the uh, reason why we have assumed uh, we are, why you are not considering the flux linkages produced by this i2 right now is when you assume that there is uh, there are no other uh, flux linkages because of the currents then you can assume this uh, flux produced by this conductor one or current i1 as circular okay so that's the reason why we are uh, assuming that uh, we are not considering the effect of I2 right now. Okay. So these uh, flux are going to link the whatever the flux outside the conductor uh, one will completely link the current I1 until uh, this D minus R2. Okay. Outer surface of this conductor two, which is in between conductor one and conductor two. So, what are the flux that is existing between this conductor 1 and uh, this point? It is going to link with the complete current I1. Yes, now when you are moving from this D minus R2 to D plus R2, as you are moving from D minus R2 to D plus R2, what happens is it is going to uh, link with the fraction of the current I1. Because in any single phase circuit, then instead of time, you can uh, consider I1 plus I2 as 0. Okay? This is your uh, current in, uh, going inside the conductor and this can be considered as a return path. So, at any instant of time, if you consider, if you apply your KCL, then uh, you can write it as I1 plus I2 as 0. So, the current passing, uh, passing through this conductor I2 will be in the negative direction, assuming uh, the current entering into this uh, conductor 1, I1 as positive. Okay. So, what are the flux that is uh, linked in between D minus R2 to D plus R2? As you are progressing from D minus R2 to D plus R2, the amount of uh, current that is linked with this flux will vary from I to 0. Okay. Assuming uh, the same amount of current is uh, returning uh, through this conductor 2 also, that means assuming your I1 and I2 are equal, then uh, as you are moving from D minus R2 to D plus R2, what happens is the amount of uh, current that is linked with the flux will reduce from I to 0. Okay? So, uh, at this point it is I, as you are moving at the center it is going to be I by 2 and as you move to the other side of this conductor then it is going to be completely 0 because I minus I is 0. Okay? 
So this is how uh, the flex is linked. So the same thing uh, was uh, described in this slide. So in single phase uh, line, I one plus I two is zero, and uh, if you consider the flex linkage of circuit caused by current in conductor one alone. Okay, so the external flex from R one to D minus R two links all the current I one in the conductor one. Okay, so that means uh, in the in the side of uh, conductor uh, two. Okay, then the external flux from D minus R2 to D plus R2 links a current whose magnitude progressively reduces from I1 to 0 along this distance because of the effect of negative current flowing in the conductor 2. And the third one is flux beyond D plus R2. If you consider flux beyond D plus R2, it links net current of 0. Okay, it won't uh, link with any current because uh, already your I1 plus I2 is 0. Okay, assuming uh, that I2 is uh, in the return path. Okay, so now, uh, uh, if you want to, if you compare the distances uh, between these two conductors, okay, with the radius, the radius, what happens is the distance is very much greater than the radius, is, okay. So either it is R1 or R2, if you compare the value of D, D is always uh, much greater than R1 or R2. Okay, in that case, what you can do is uh, you can also make an assumption that uh, the flux in between the conductors uh, is will, will be completely linked with this current I1 till the center of the second conductor. And the flux beyond this uh, center of the second conductor, you can assume that uh, the flux link with the current is zero. Okay, so what you are uh, uh, assuming is the flux between these two centers is completely linked with this current I1 or I and the uh, flux beyond this uh, radius of second uh, the center of your second conductor links with zero current. Okay. So with these assumptions you can easily write the flux linkages as just uh, by using the same equation which we already discussed in the previous videos. So this is going to be the flux linkages of circuit caused by the current in conductor 1 alone, okay, can be written as lambda 1 is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7 I1 natural logarithm D by R1 dash, okay. So, this is the flux link with the current uh, because of in conductor 1, okay. So, the inductance of this conductor can be calculated by simply dividing uh, with this lambda 1 with I1. So, the inductance because of this uh, current I1 in conductor 1 will be L1, which is 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm d by r1 dash. In a similar fashion, you can also derive the inductance cast because of the current I2 in conductor 2. Okay, without considering the effect of flux linkages due to current in conductor 1, and uh, considering only a current in conductor 2, in the similar fashion, you can also derive the expression for L2 as L2 is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm. D by R2 dash. Okay. Now, using superposition theorem, uh, the total flag, uh, total inductance can be calculated as L equals to L1 plus L2 because uh, this uh, uh, inductance is caused because of the current uh, flux link with the current I1 as well as current uh, flux linkages due to I2. Okay. Using the superposition theorem, you can easily uh, deduce that uh, L equals to L1 plus L2. Okay, so if you take the sum of these two, then uh, you can write it as 4 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm d by under square root r1 dash and r2 dash. Okay, now to simplify this uh, expression further, what you can do is you can assume that uh, both the conductors are having the same uh, cross sectional area uh, with which your r1 will be equal to r2, and at the same time, r1 dash will become equal to r2 dash. Okay, so if you consider uh, this equivalent R1 dash is equal to R2 dash equals to R dash, then uh, you can also write the expression for inductance as L equals to 4 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm D by R dash Hindi per meter. Or in terms of uh, log base 10, the same uh, expression can be written as L equals to 0.9 to 1 log D by R dash milli Hindi per kilometer. You need to be careful with this uh, units while writing the expressions in natural logarithm and uh, log base 10. Okay, so this is how uh, you can calculate uh, the inductance of a single circuit, single phase uh, two-wire line. Okay, so uh, but 
and uh, during uh, the last uh, two cases that is either it is single uh, conductor or isolated conductor or two wire line we have assumed that uh, the conductors are solid okay but uh, if you look at in the uh, normal way or in reality they are not solid conductors for transmission lines we will not use solid, uh, solid conductors we are going to use uh, conductors called uh, standard conductors okay in the next video we are going to discuss about these uh, different types of conductors okay thank you